guys, welcome to Jerry Berry X. Today, we're going to react to season four, episode two of The Boys, entitled Life Among the Septics. The septic tanks, the normies. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. Links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. Over there on Patreon, you can watch this uncut, unedited, etc., etc., if you choose to support that way. Uh, last episode was more of just picking up where season three left off on Homelander on trial and the boys trying to get the Newman, but failing and trying to take her down and Butcher trying to play both sides and Huey trying to figure out his love life, apparently, and the war between the home teamers and the Starlighters and now setting up the Starlight people as like they were rioting and they killed people in the riots when it wasn't happening. It was set up because Homelander had you know, the seven killed three people, including Todd to, you know, be martyrs for his cause with the help of Sage, who's a super know-it-all whiz kid. Uh, so a lot, a lot happened in that last episode, including Huey's mom being back in the picture. Who I thought was dead. I guess she just, she just walked out. So curious to see how all of that just plays into one another. Uh, the first part of this video will be probably muted or skipped over because it does say, uh, hypnotize is playing in the background by, by Biggie. So we're going to, we're just going to hop into it. I'm excited. I just want to watch. So I'm going to go ahead and put Jerry behind the scenes. Get a little bit of flashback. Where I'm telling you, A-Train's character is more important than, than it's, it's leading on to be. Because he's out here running these super fast deals to get some people their, their fix. This old girl was definitely Jones and her ass was shaking. And why the fuck is Will Ferrell here? <laughs> what? Where did we just transition into, bro? Like, what the fuck just happened? I thought you were too sick to practice. Oh, God, this is for a movie, ain't it? This is for a movie. This is for his movie. Done with all that, coach. Mary's always happy to have you at the table. When's the last time you had a decent meal? It is insane how much Will Ferrell's... How old is Will Ferrell, bro? He's got to be what? If, if he's less than 60 years old, brother is just not fucking aging well. He's 57. Okay, I'll allow it. 57's still crazy, bro, because he was in his 40s doing some of his biggest movies, or 30s and 40s. That's insane. Throwing it all away? Selling yayo for gangbangers? <laughs> you don't know me, coach. <laughs> Slinging yayo. Yeah, you don't know, you don't know me, know coach. Nothing. It's just Coach cards. Carter. Yeah. I know you want more than this. I smell an Oscar nomination. <laughs> Shut up, man. No, I won't. Let's get you back to one, huh? I'm gonna watch the playback. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, let's get in some cans, please. Thank you. One more quick thing. Let's what a global it. icon and a national treasure. Like you're having a little bit of trouble getting out of the starter's block. Lol. Maybe it's the scene. Baby, this scene sings. All right, look. Well, the coach swoops in and saves me from the ghetto. No, 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 no. You actually save each other. It's a very balanced narrative. All the sensitivity readers that we hired, they all agreed. My brother was the only coach that I ever had. Right. He was a waiter. Buster Beaver, not a fucking crack dealer. All right, good stuff. All right, everybody, let's get back to work. He makes me want to swallow fucking a fucking day. bullet. Hey, can we talk? You don't why? talk. It's like you're one thing. Yeah, why Look, can't... Why can't... Noir has been a meaningful challenge, but yesterday was whack as fuck. I've never actually murdered anyone before. Does Homeland make us kill people, like, a lot? And when he does it, we just... do it? So this brother... This is just somebody pretending to be Noir. And trains in on it? That's fucked up. Outside the courthouse yesterday. The Starlighters. Y'all just gonna have three random people fucking dead and pinning on two random black dudes? That's insane. Riding at multiple quote. Oh. You have rosemary oil? It's really she don't give a she flying wants. shit. Can you just can you stop, please? Just for I don't know why I thought this woman was dead this whole time. I think I know now that they said that she had ran off or something, but I thought her ass was Six feet under. Why the fuck would he give you power of attorney over me? Well, I mean, nah, you promise. you give me some shaky ass vibes, lady woman. You promise? She gonna let your daddy die, brother, brother. What? Have you, um, so how long you got? It's none your fucking business. I'm not sure why I'm telling you at all. Let's just say I got an angel on my shoulder and she's a right bloody nag. I'm just gonna put it out there that I think that's the stupidest shit ever. That he told them that off screen. I get you have it, Kimiko walking in to get that information, but I think it should have been like he called the group in and then he told them and we got their individual reactions or something along those lines. I tried to warn you that that shit was poison. You ain't one of us. Hey. All right. Hey, get the fuck out. Or I'll throw you out. Just 
I don't want to hear it, he's out. Join him if you don't like it. Butcher's standing ten toes down on his business too, man. I think that's a little fuck. The Small boys, the bot boys. Up. I think it's fuck because he wants to. I feel like Butcher's trying to do the right thing all of a sudden, but he's been lying to him this whole time. So you can again, fuck. You can see both sides of it. You can also get how he feels like, hey, you finally tell the truth and people get mad at you. But like, bro, you've been lying to them this whole time. Myself. Who am I? Then one day that question is answered. When Homer dude, ain't got no dick, bro. It got fucking frozen off. And says, and oh, my Ryan, goodness. It it's almost written by, almost like it was written inevitable. by he him always himself. Knew he was destined for greatness. Because he came from greatness. Oh. Home oh. boy. Wow. Oh, buddy, do you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> Not the fucking old boy. Kingdom for your son. I'm helping you get it. It's crazy because so many, any of the people that's ever stood up to him really like shut him down. Like, uh, I can't think of his actual name, but like uh, the character name, I mean, like Esposito did, uh, Gus Fring. Like he shut him down. Bobby Singer shut him down. Like people can shut him down just with words, even though he could kill them in a moment's notice, but. They, they can do that and he's mad nobody stands up to him so he has this person around him that can stand up to him and just i don't know it's a good it's a good balance for his character i guess i think he needs feel free it. to move forward thanks ah if you don't mind selfie if i were you i'd make myself useful and then get some lactation going and let him suck on those titties before you end up like madeline still god damn Oh, she just says shit out loud. Oh, Ashley, hey, what's up? While PETA still has you on their bestiality watch list, I swear to God, <laughs> stupid people who think they're smart make me want to eat my own shit. Just a bitch. <laughs> it's probably that time of the month. Oh, It's like God. a full moon thing, isn't no. it? You are a genetically superior being, and she's the evolutionary equivalent of a capybara. Not the copy. It's oh, she's playing seeds. I think she just wants Vot to crumble. Actually, at this point, one sixteen. Todd on the other. That would be the best part of the whole thing. Is she was just manipulating everybody just to be giant sacks of shits to get the things to go plummet it. Hmm. I agree with the way Ashley talked to him in that. Normally she is a bitch, but an asshole, I should say. But like the way she talked to him, I was hoping Sage is about to do the same thing. But this boy out here fucking octopi, and you want him out here? The home. Lights out, you fucking muff taco. Noir. You back, my fuck you don't know me like it. Be cool, man. Noir, what are we supposed to do? Oh no, there he is. His first save. Let her go. Out of my way, kid. Let her go. It's gonna be okay. Do you promise? I promise. Oh, got the gun. Oh, Who zoomed in. My name is Ryan. And I don't like bullies. Yeah, I don't like bullies, pal. Oh, God. It's good. Clear. We're not actually killing people in the day, am I right? Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. He's so fed up with them just all the way around. You talk to me like that again, and I will drown you in your fucking toilet, you stupid bitch. Oh, she kind of liked After I've used it. She's kind of like that shit, actually. Look at her. Is that what you want? No. Sir! <laughs> No, sir. That's right. Don't be scared of fucking Aquaman, bro. That's just, he, he just fucks squids. I don't just, um, uh, so many words you can say about him. Don't give him that, that credibility and power. My week. I'm allowed to say fuck you to any deep state cunts trying to keep you from the truth. <laughs> oh, God love him. Okay, I'm walking around. Yeah, I think. Oh, the monkey house. oh boy, the earth is flat. Jesus and his rifles. I guarantee some of these extras here actually thought this was a real convention. So they're just walking around, guns, God, and coffee. Ah! Undeniable proof that Starlight is a lizard person. Watch out! Truth con. There's no conspiracies or coincidence. Yeah, people showed up to that shit thinking this was real. Not the minions. Definition of a minion. Minions are subordinate of a person in power. All dressed the same. Single illumination. Soldier Boy held captive by the CIA. I know where Soldier Boy is. The CIA knows where he is too. Zack. 
well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say what I was about to say, but I couldn't tell. Eric Kripke just hiring all his people, ain't he? Dude, that's crazy because I haven't seen him since well, it's been what four years since Supernatural. Look at that guy. You're perfect. I like Buddy, man. He's a good actor. He's solid. Today to cover it up. They're killing us. Wake up. Over the next two hours, I will prove that Starlight works with Oprah and Tom Hanks oh to set up a God. satanic home delivery service. I fucking An knew. order of a hot dog gets you a boy. Oh, a taco. I... A girl. Oh, my. A combo gets you a child they forced to have trans surgery. Just forced it right into it. You took that little child and said, you know what? We're going to go ahead. We're going to force you to be something you don't want to fucking be. All right? It's just fucking sick what this country's doing. Unbelievable. They got y'all out here believing everything left and right. <laughs> and a soda gets you a shot of adrenochrome. Oh, my God. Not the adrenochrome. We all know the police code for child porn. It's just mad. I almost just spit my water over my fucking screen. Is that Chris? Is that David Benoit in the back? Holy shit. Is that Scorsese? Okay. Julie. Merci. But it's not about you. I swear. <laughs> the Alex Jones look-alike contest. There's too many gay frogs. We go back to work now. Nah, I'd go investigate that shit. Like, is everything okay in there? Yeah, there's... Boy's having sex with himself. This isn't what it looks like. It's okay. <laughs> I was right, though. I was right, because he can make copies of himself. And anybody who's ever had a power where you can make copies of yourself has always said the same thing. It's like, like even the Naruto stuff. Like, wouldn't you just like ninjutsu and just like yourself? That's why wouldn't you? Like, honestly, though, like, why wouldn't you? Like, it's you and other yous. But which one is the real you? I'm assuming the front one. Human centipede yourself to, to fucking bork it to somebody you don't even like you, bro, who dodged your hook? That's insane, Chuck. Why was, why was his mouth so wet? Maybe your source of the tower is fucking with you? No, no, no. If she says I'm a train flabbergasted. Every Sunday, it's... Nathan, I'm sorry. Okay, we will wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. Yeah, we need, we need trains redemption arc badly. God damn, is he here? Of course not. He wouldn't be caught dead with these ringworm infested cousin fuckers. <laughs> Well, there's a chance you can meet him. First, I'm going to see your power, so. God damn. Enough. Get your fucking hands off me. Did you walk all the way through the whole crowd of people grabbing this man like that and kicking him out? What else? What did everybody say when they saw it? You know. Just go home, all right? Oh. But it ain't going to work. Yeah, ain't that what your wife said? No, knock him. He wants that shit, bro. I love how heavy they're making them, like, oh, low scene. You pulling a mess you always leave behind for me to clean up? I thought maybe this time, maybe you and I could just, just be fucking brothers again. What is this? Security cam footage of your two starlighters. I would have blasted the shit out of you, and you would have deserved it. Yeah, I agree. Huey sees the good at him. At least he closed the door on the way out. Dude, give my man some kudos, you know? Give him a little kudos, man. That's good shit. Back up. Hey, man, I, I really like Buddy that plays A-Train. I like A-Train a lot. I think I think he needs some redemption arc. And he's done some fucked up things, you know? Robin, Poplock, all of it. Popclaw, not Poplock. 
pop lock. I think pop locks the people that unlock your door if you get locked there, you get locked out or some shit. And fucking dead. Jiminy crap. Ow, oh, it's leg. Everything's under control. Oh, the you fuck it ain't. Me. Yeah, you saved me. Oh, I think. I wish you'd just pass out right there. Little girl just go. Good girl. Somebody in the <laughs> Somebody in the background said he's fucking dead. Good girl. <laughs> he's fucking dead. Oh, that is hilarious, because obviously. Smile. Being good. Too much silly tossing up. No, no, no. That's how it is. That's all how it is. His, oh, so all of his all of his different versions of him. They have their own you okay. That's I interesting as fuck. No! That is fucking violent and oh. Hell no. Oh, I didn't need to see all that. I didn't I didn't need to see CGI dick today. That's not what we need it. We didn't need to see God's dick. That's that's just horrendous. Now I'm calling on all the <laughs> you gonna let me smack your girl like that? Yeah. No wonder she put you in the zone, mate. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking crazy. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and he's dead. That's some sick, violent shit right there. Who cares? You are destined for so much more. You understand? You're chosen, young man. The chosen one. Hey, one thing led to another. And so what happens when he finds out you murdered his family? Fucking Christ, uh, Frenchie. Yeah, cut that relationship off now. I'm like, hey, it was nice knowing you, bro, but we got to go our own ways. I'm so sorry. Trailer. I fucked it up. Every step, I can't do it without you. And to be fair, this is like the same kind of spiel he's did with Huey one season, and he's did with Frenchie, you know, this, that, and the other. Too fucking little butcher. Too fucking late. Hmm. Too little, too late. Standing ten toes down on it. I thought he's about to go into business for himself for a second. I do think it's there has to be some meaning behind like his name being mother's milk and homelander's affinity for mother's milk you know what i'm saying there's got to be a little something there and maybe there's not did you know the globalists put chemicals in food and make us gay dakota bob is a demon from hell and the moon isn't real find out what they didn't want you to know at hashtag truth con so it seems like everybody's got their own shit like mm's going through his things right Mother's Milk's going through his issues with, you know, Todd being dead, his ex-wife, his daughter, and wanting to get Billy gone. Billy's going through his, you know, Butcher's going through his whole I'm going to die soon thing. You have Huey going through his ups and downs, especially with his dad and his, his in his coma and his mom back in his life. Starlight and her own people, Homelander and his son. I mean, Ryan fucking killed that kid. And to what repercussions are going to come from that? So I think we have to see where... The repercussions come in. Then Sage is gone, but Sage now knows those people with the CIA. So she, I mean, she knows what's going on. She led them astray because she is the smartest person on earth. Uh, we'll see her next conversation with Homelander about Butcher and the boys and everybody. We didn't see Newman at all in that episode. No Dakota Bob. We get A Train more on his redemption arc, which I think is the thing I'm interested the most in because Huey was the one that saved him. I would like to see them be boys, no pun intended. We still have the whole virus being brewed at Godolkin and those kids. There's a lot to to go over. I don't have much for the outros of these because it, it gives us so much throughout the episode. It's hard to sit and pick talking points and, and review and, and go over and kind of critique. There's nothing really to critique. Uh, you know, Kimiko's also going with her own thing with that, that group coming back in, the real traffickers doing more things in New York City. Uh, it's like she's going off on her own to do that rather than therapy. And now you got Frenchie who's sleeping with somebody who he killed the dude's family. I mean, come the fuck on. Homelander has no empathy or sympathy for the fact that that, that Koi just died. 
and he doesn't really know how to be there for his son. And there's good layers across the board for everyone. But, I mean, the hardest line of it all is too little too late. Too little too late. And I think that will actually lead us into our next episode. So Season 4, Episode 2 is Life Among the Septics. Season 4, Episode 3 is We'll Keep the Red Flag Flying Here. Oh, boy. TruthCon is one of the wilder things I've seen, and it feels like something very real. But that did give us one of the coolest kills, and it was cool to see Chuck there just for a moment. But all that aside... I will go ahead and scoot on this one. So as always, links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one.